Today we focus on short-term rentals as the entry point for real estate, because I've done all kinds of real estate transactions, from commercial retail, international hotels, cell phone towers, uh, single family homes is, of course, I've been the bank many, 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 many times. The best real estate strategy on the planet today is short-term rentals, wait, wait, period. Wait, wait. Wait. Best. Can you say that one more time for those that were in the back? <laughs> the absolute best real estate strategy today, period, is the opportunity in front of all of us, and especially here in Texas, good Lord, short-term rentals, period. And that's what I get to do. So I, we currently, one of my companies, what we do is we teach and train individuals in 17 different countries on this strategy, as well as myself, and my team, we run a portfolio of short-term rentals across the United States at the same time. And for those that say, well, I live in small town America. I don't know that this short-term rental strategy, like the best thing since last break, would that even work in my area? Got it. Love that one. Well, the, uh, currently we have a person in uh, the smallest town is 14,000 people. 14,000 people and they're one of our more profitable students. So if, you, if you're in a town that's smaller than that, let me know, okay? Because I would love to know, but uh, the answer is yes. So long as you live near people, there's a way to do it. In fact, you could also do vacant land. Don't get me started about all the ways that this can work, but I will have you literally on fire because the, everything that's in front of you is a potential real estate transaction and can be converted to a short-term rental. I know this because this is what we do day in, day out, helping people to see the opportunity that's right in front of them, sometimes even in their own backyard. So by a show of hands, how many of you guys actually right now have at least one short-term rental on a platform? Let's just see. Wave your flags. We can see flags yes. really, really well. All right, we've got a few hands. Not enough. A few hands. Not enough. <laughs> so this is an opportunity. So you're talking to staging companies, design companies. You have realtors. You have some investors in the room. How do they even get started? We had some breakouts, but just kind of start from that 101 if you don't mind. Got it. So basically, um, who's ever used a vending machine, like a vending machine, like ever? All right, perfect. So if you understand that business model, it's the same thing. We buy time wholesale and sell it retail, typically in 365 day increments, right? So in a perfect world, you're going to start with a 36 month or three year lease. So you're buying three years of time and you're gonna retail that time. So you bought it wholesale, I don't care where you bought it from, someone could own the land and you could buy it. And you out here in Texas, you got a lot of land. So that's an opportunity. Plus, um, there's a significant amount of vacancy. One of the things that's gonna happen here, specifically in Dallas, is that your construction versus absorption ratio is not what it needs to be, meaning you're gonna have lots of empty units, which is great because you can solve the problem. But here's, what I, here's why I'm saying this. The number one problem for every landlord is vacancy. How many of you would buy bananas and let them sit on the counter unused for about uh, three weeks? Anybody? No, why do you laugh though? What, what's, why is that funny? Bananas are great, but not after three weeks. And that is the same situation here. Landlords work on time. Its value goes down the closer you get to the date. What we do is we solve that problem. That's number one. Number two, there is not enough temporary housing available in any marketplace ever at all. Here in Dallas, one of the reasons I'm here is because this week, my team and I, we picked up nine units here and uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll find another 21 because we think and it'll be 40, fun. 40, like we get yes, up yes, to yes, 40. Yes, 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 yeah, yes. Yeah. Well, well, yes, here, <laughs> then we're going to Austin, Texas and do the same thing. Because you guys, when it, you remember earlier this year when it was freezing? That was an opportunity for short-term rental operators. Many of our operators literally made a lot of money during that time. And you know what? Because you're still recovering from that, there's still an opportunity for that, compounded with, how many of you work with a realtor right now? Just one realtor when they're buying and selling. No, no, keep your hands up or flags or whatever we're doing here. I need you to hear me on this one. In between escrow, their customer has no place to stay. They're already used to working with you. 
if you had a short-term rental, they would go easily. And you, and you know what? You can't say the customer doesn't have the money. They just sold the house. That makes sense? So can we pause for a moment? Because I want to make sure, again, that everyone caught that. So if you are working with realtors and you say, hey, by the way, not only can we stage that property, yes, how when it sells, keep us in mind because we also have short-term rental properties that we can, dis those displaced buyers, sellers, whatever the situation is, we can provide temporary housing for them. Did, did you hear that? How does that realtor look at you now? I double take. Oh, Completely really? differently. Amazing. Not only that, they'll often, especially that realtor will often want to, they'll ask you, well, can I do that too? And the answer is yes. And hey, guess what? Now you can provide the furniture. So it, you, it, it becomes a very symbiotic relationship. And you guys are in the middle of many of these types of transactions. Does anybody work with relocation services? Like corporate relocation? Really? None? Not yet. What? Do we need to write that down? Oh my God. Do we, need to, do we need to write down our apartment locators? Wow. wow. Okay. We, that's impressive right there. I just knew somebody was going to have that one. But that's What's your word that you need to hear them say when they have, have a, an aha bonus? <laughs> bonus time. That is exactly right. So thank, <laughs> there you <laughs> there go. We go. Thank you. I love that. Because what it comes down to is that there's so many opportunities, they're literally right in front of you, you just haven't been trained to recognize them yet. And that's what we do. We train you to recognize opportunity that is already there. And when I, when I tell you numbers, that's when, it, that's when people get excited. But what you should be excited about is the systems that create those numbers. Because now, like, here's what I will tell you. I'll say it this way. How many of you remember 2020? Okay, not that part of 2020, the other parts of 2020 that were actually good. <laughs> yes, that part, got it. Now remember how much income you've earned, the top line revenue, whatever that number is, I don't care. But imagine that number happening every month. Does that sound exciting? Yes, right? Even if you're used to $20,000 a year, but now it's $20,000 a month, it is exciting, right? But we can always figure out how to get more money. But how can you use less of your time? Because that's where we come in. Getting more money is one thing, but then we teach you how to do that same number on one hour a day. I need you to really grasp what that means. Take your annual income, make it monthly, and then one hour a day.